Right, we're on. Today I want you to try and feel this. We're going to do a little feel drill, make sure you can feel this. This is going to improve your impact position. It's going to improve the shaft lean of the golf club. We want the shaft to lean forward at impact. Therefore, ball turf strike. We want that shaft leaning forward. That's how it's designed to be at impact. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you a drill that you can feel this. It's all in the hands again. It's talking about educating the hands, but if we can get the hands to work and the right elbow to work, we can make sure the shaft leans forward. Ball turf strike, penetrating strike, and obviously some spin and control from that. Let's try it. Spin and control, wouldn't that be great? So your golf club sits on a, on a leading edge. If you sat your club flat on a table, the sole of the club flat on the ground, you would see that the shaft leans forward. Now that's an impact position. We hold the club in this position, so therefore it's sitting more on the bounce, not ideal. But ideally we should start there and return back to that position. Today we're going to feel that through the hands and not so much a visual of the golf club, but feeling it through the hands and the right elbow. Feeling it through the hands and the right elbow. We want to feel want to feel more of this motion through impact so we can ensure that we get the hands to lead the shot. We want the hands to lead the club head. As soon as the club head outrides the hands, that's compression leakage. So, oh, so all this compression we have at impact is leaked because the club head's leading the hands. If I was to mop a floor, I would drag the mop drag the mop. I wouldn't drag the mop to there, stop and then push it in that direction, let the club head or the mop pass the hands. So we're going to educate the hands today to ensure we get the forward shaft lean, ball turf strike, good stuff. If I take my hands off the golf club, so no golf club at all, and I do my normal grip, my grip is an overlap grip, I want to feel as though the pinky on the right hand pulls this left hand back towards me. So as I come down here, I'm feeling that feeling that. And you can see there how the right wrist bends into impact, bends in there, forearm and then hand at a different angle. You can see that. Then of course if the left hand's joined on and I get that position, how it flattens the left wrist up to here and then feel that. So I'm applying pressure where the two hands touch. So when my right hand touches my left hand on this part of the thumb, I'm applying pressure there with the right palm which is pressing it in that direction. If I add a golf club to that, I take my golf club and add that pressure in there, you can see how the left wrist flat flattens. I'm applying pressure there where the right hand touches the left thumb. Applying pressure there, like so, is flattening this left wrist. There's cupped. That's the compression leaked. If I use the pressure, I've changed it. The shaft there, so there's cupped. If I apply the pressure, the shaft now leans forward. If I zoom out from the camera here and I hold that position, you'll see the shaft is forward. A lot of golf analogy goes back to skimming a stone, but yes, the, the, this part of the hand is going to lead this part of the hand and we create that action. Same feeling. So we want to feel that little motion, just that little motion there. You can see how the shaft leans forward through impact. If I'm playing a little chip shot, a little pitch shot, there, there, applying that pressure. Nice and loose though. I say applying pressure, but my hands are still soft. I, I'm not choking the golf club. I'm just there, feel, feel, feel. I can hit one doing the same thing, just feeling the hand doing its thing, little short ones, just to educate the hands, feeling that, that was a good one, a little pause at the top there, to feel, you can see them up, 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 on those little shots there, that's creating lag. Lag is stressing the shaft of the golf club. And that little shot there, when I kind of paused at the top, so I went up and paused, so up and then up and then that created lag. That stressed the shaft and I could feel it on such a short shot. So we can implement that in a short game, no problem at all. Then we get to a longer game and more has to happen. So it's more, I thought there was somebody playing the hole behind, but there's not. So there's more to it than that. Obviously getting this position to impact is great, but then as, as dynamically as we move, we need to feel as though we're up and stress the shaft. Up 
stress the shaft, up, stress the shaft. Now you'll see what happens there with the right elbow. When I go up here, my right elbow leads the game. It starts things going. So I get up there, body starts to turn, right elbow comes in closer to left elbow, and then there's the motion with the hands. So elbow, hand, elbow, hand. So address position, hands here, up. Then from the top, the elbow does the job. If I take my golf club away and do just hands up to the top, and then the elbow, right elbow comes closer to left. The top right elbow comes closer to left, and of course that helps the right hand do its thing. When the right elbow is activated, the right hand pulls back and of course bows the left wrist, or flattens the left wrist. See that? There, right elbow coming in close, right elbow's coming to close to right side, and of course that is holding the right hand back, so I'm now starting to feel this motion. Right elbow, right hand, see that? Up, there. If I can move myself, hold on. There we go, so up, elbow, then wrist. It's a fluent motion. There's no hitting at the golf ball, there's no mopping to here and then pushing the mop. It's all one go. Left hand on. If I do that with this golf club, add the golf club to it. We can see there, impact, the shaft leans forward, elbow, hand. See the right elbow below the left? Right elbow is never above the left. Right elbow gets below the left. Right hand. Now that's extreme, it looks a little bit funky as if the shaft's leaning too far forward, but if my body turns as well, We're on. So we'll tee the ball up to start off with. I'm gonna hit five shots, one, two, three, four, five, yes. I'm just gonna hit down this direction and I wanna feel it. I'm gonna increase the swing as I go. Let me just, I've just moved this camera angle slightly because somebody's decided to walk their dog up the fairway. Thanks for that. Non-golfers. <laughs> so we're gonna start off, gonna hit five golf balls. I'm gonna do a short motion, but I wanna feel as though I can still activate the elbow and the wrist and the body in one go. So I'm up to the top. I'm going to exaggerate this feeling up there. And I'm going to feel as though it's that motion. Now that's, I've got light grip pressure to feel this, almost sluggish. Then the body turns, so I'm there, impact, body turns to there. So I feel as though, I'm going to exaggerate, I feel as though it's very, very fluent, very, very fluid motion. I'm aware that at the top, my body's turning and the right elbow's doing its thing and it's holding that hand back, which is getting the shaft to lean forward. And I'm exaggerating that as much as I possibly can. And I'm gonna step on and play a little soft one. And played it very well. Let's tee up a number two ball. And we're gonna hit this one a little bit further. So we're increasing, increasing, increasing the range of motion, increasing length of swing to ensure we get the ball to go further. So still feeling that right elbow coming in. Stop. You can see where I've got to there. You can see that the right elbow led the shot in there. The shaft leans forward. My body's turned and I've got the hand doing what it's supposed to do. Left wrist nice and flat, sluggish. It should feel quite loose, it should feel quite sluggish. It should feel as though, almost like spaghetti. Let's imagine you're swinging spaghetti or swinging a piece of rope. So you're gonna to get to the top and it's gonna lag behind. The shaft gets stressed, but the shaft gets stressed without forcing and pulling with the arms. The body turning, the elbow and the wrist nice and soft to do their thing. That'll stress that shaft through impact. You don't have to work hard for that. These clubs are designed very well. Remember they're designed to be like that at impact and the shaft's working for you now. So we're going to increase things now. I can feel at the top of my swing that I've got this kind of dropping down action. That's the right elbow trying to lead the game. Right elbow's trying to lead the way. If I get that, then I know what impact the wrist's going to be good. 
It's good now I've got three balls up there at three different distances because I've increased the swing. I've increased the length of swing, I've added no more power, but the ball has gone three different distances because I've increased the range of motion. I've not swung any harder, I've not tried to stress the shaft by doing this. If I try and stress the shaft from the hands and arms, of course I'm going out that way. I'm not, I'm purely letting it happen. Elbow. Let's do one down the line, shall we? So here we are down the line. Now there's no, there's no chance of coming over the top because the right elbow's dropping down. So I'm up to there, right elbow's dropped down, which is pulled left wrist back. And then from there I'm turning through. So right elbow dropped down, pulls left wrist, come back, turn through forward shaft lean. So a little bit longer range of motion again. It's up the top, feeling that. So I feel as I'm there, I feel as everything's moved and then it just all drops down. That's the feeling I have. Good. Little draws. And let's do one little bit fuller motion. Well, let's just hit full iron. Feeling that action. Let's change the angle of the camera again for this one, shall we? So again, full swing this time. I feel really sluggish. Right elbow is encouraging the right wrist to do its thing. And from there, we're good. There's no chance of coming over the top because I've initiated everything to work how it's supposed to work. And there we go. Good shot. So there we are guys, that's very much a feel drill. That's to feel how the right elbow works. It's to feel how the hands get educated. And everything there is to try and prevent that over the top action. You're going to feel the forward shaft lean, understanding that the golf club's designed to sit like that with the shaft leaning forward. When you sew the golf club, do it. Put, the, put your golf club on a flat surface and see how the shaft leans forward. That's where you need to be at impact. But it's through body, it's through hands, it's not through using brute strength of the arms, it's getting the body to turn, the right elbow to drop, and therefore the wrist will be a byproduct of that. Shaft will lean forward, but keep it soft. Soft feelings, loose hands. Feel as though your feels like your hands have melted, your arms are really soft, and the word spaghetti, that's maybe something to think about as well. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you've not subscribed, please hit the button below. Much appreciated. Also the bell icon, that'll give you instant notifications of all my videos. And the thumbs up button, that shares it around YouTube, which is always good for the algorithm. That helps me out. See you in the next video. Thank you.